the Jurassic franchise to me, is, it's, it holds a lot of memories. And I never get tired of watching those films, ever. Hello, my name is Nathan and this is my Jurassic Park collection. So I've been a fan of Jurassic Park since I was uh, six years old when my mum took me to the movies and I saw it for the first time in 93 and ever since then I've been completely hooked. Uh, my mum got me my first Jurassic Park toy which was the red Tyrannosaurus Rex and uh, I've never let it go ever since and uh, my collection has expanded ever since then. So in 2012 I rediscovered my first Jurassic Park toy, which was my T-Rex in the loft and that got me thinking what else is there out there that is available to me Jurassic Park merchandise wise. Um, so from then on I made it my mission to find anything Jurassic Park related, whether it be a toy or a toilet roll holder. Uh, I was up for grabbing it. So I collected the main line of figures that were available in Jurassic Park for the Kenner line, but then I started discovering other things uh, like licensed merchandise, uh, like crackers, uh, umbrellas, um, bubble wands, gun sets, uh, all sorts of crazy things and I just had to keep collecting them and it did start quite small. I would uh, put them on a, a random shelf in my room, but then I had to get units to display this thing and then it was more shelving, uh, more storage, more wardrobes. Um, sometimes it had to go in the loft because it was so big. Uh, some cardboard displays were too large to set up so I had to put those away um, until eventually I had to find somewhere where I could display it all. So for the past 11 years I've been collecting and I've probably racked up um, bills of probably about four to five thousand on what I've bought. Um, and it's probably worth close to 20,000. Um, that's including that as well, um, which I'm happy to own. So I was in the market for a new car in 2015 and uh, I came across this thing, but it was blue when I got it. Uh, I paid 2,000 pounds for it and uh, I made it look like this after a friend of mine said, if I do create the Jurassic Park Jeep, they would use it at their wedding. So that spurred me on to uh, get this finished and ready for his big day. And it, it was ready and it was great. I've probably spent five to 6,000 um, building it to what it is now. It's not that expensive. I've kept the cost quite low. Um, I've done some of the repair work myself uh, to get it where it is. And it drives pretty well for a car that's 27 years old. Um, it's fairly reliable, um, easy to maintain and I do use it quite frequently as well, so it's almost like a daily driver. The Jurassic franchise to me, is, it's, it holds a lot of memories um, from being a kid that you can go back to when you either watch a scene in a film or a toy that you pick up. It relates back to a period in time when you were a kid and you can relive those memories. Um, and same with the films, they, they, they do that again now. So in 2015, when the new films came out, I have memories of that. I got a tattoo after I said that the, uh, the new film was gonna be a success and it was good. So I had to get a tattoo, it was my own fault, um, but it was worth it. Um, and they still hold memories today. I, I, I think it's, it's got a promising future. It's one of those franchises that doesn't seem to go away and I think it's just going to keep going and going for generations. And I think it should. It's, uh, it's one of those sort of cult classic film franchises that um, never seems to get old. Um, and the, the films, I find the original uh, Jurassic Park holds up even better than some of the, the modern films that you see today. Like the CGI, even then was groundbreaking, still can wipe the floor with some of the films you see out there and the practical effects, which is a, a dying art, unfortunately, because CGI is taking over. It's, uh, you can't hold a light to it. With some of those effects you see in the original film, um, just capture your imagination and make you just think that those are actually real breathing dinosaurs and you do fear for the people when you're watching it in the film. It's, uh, yeah, it's a magical thing. Um, and I love watching those over and over again. I never get tired of watching those films, ever. Never will. <laughs>